Hi there, happy Tuesday. Today we're gonna to talk about toxic positivity. Um, the reason is because it's a real thing and um, it may sound in like some coaching cultures and self-helpy things and even in my videos, it may sound like we may be getting this vibe of this, this push towards the positive, push towards the bright side, push towards that kind of stuff. And there's a reason for that. So let's talk about the distinction between, you know, positivity and balance, right? Because this is actually what we're talking and how to tell the difference and how to do the thing that is more balanced, as you might suspect from now that I, you know, just from the, the introduction here, that I'm more towards the balance versus the toxic, po always positive, 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 right? And so here's the deal why it, 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 being always positive is just as toxic as being always negative. Um, any polarity like that is not healthy and doesn't serve us. And the reason being, if you are always looking for what's wrong or if you are always looking for what's right, in both cases, you're missing the reality that's somewhere in the middle just always looking for what might possibly go wrong, waiting for the shoe to drop, planning for the worst, or planning for the best, always looking at the positive. Yeah, but you have this. All that, both of those things are black and white thinking. And what we know when we're talking about, you know, mental um, health, what we're talking about is the ability to be flexible, the ability to see the in-between, not just black, sorry about that, not just black and white, but the in-between. What is the spectrum in between the black and white? Where is the fuchsia? Where is the turquoise? Where are those yummy, yummy colors that land somewhere in between the black or white, the right or wrong, the evil, the holy, the yes, the no, the female, the male, whatever all those all, like total polarities are, where's the yummy middle? Because the reality is that's where reality lies. Very, 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 very few things in life are either black or white, right or wrong. There's somewhere in the middle that's more realistic. That's that's where reality lives is in the middle. And so what we're talking about here is how do the we then see that? Well, first of all, know that the um, the reptilian part of our brain, the ancient part of our brain that has us, you know, the men that we feel just a little bit of evil have us, you know, running from the saber tooth tiger type of thing. Um, that part of our brain is in fear and it is the thing closest to relation to the rest of your body. Things hit that part of your brain before it makes all the way to the front to where your rational thinking is. And so our natural inclination is to be fearful first. Hear me, it's natural. Our brains are set up in such a way that we feel fear first before, and, and this is now timed. Science has actually timed this to know that we it actually hits fear first before it hits the ability to pause and be rational. And so hear that that you're wired to look for the negative, you're wired to look for what's wrong, the danger, the fear, how can I survive in this situation? And so what that means is, again, that's the black, right? That's the negative. And our brains are wired to be that way. So what that means is in order to be more flexible, we need some type of focus somewhere else as well, some type of, of counterpoint, some type of um, assessing to see is this really it or not. And this is where I'm not going to suggest look for the positive, right? What we're going to look for is the fuchsia, the chartreuse, the orange, right? We're going to look for the yummy colors in the middle. And how do we do that? Now we go to the second mis misconception and that's around gratitude being a positive thing. Gratitude isn't about positivity. And if it is, then, you know, look at the way that it's being used around you because it should not be a positivity thing. It shouldn't always be looking for the good. What gratitude is, is looking for the reality. What are tangible, measurable facts? Like, what are you grateful for that are facts? I am grateful for that, that I can afford a roof over my head. That's a fact, that's not positive, that's a fact. I am able to afford a roof over my head. I'm in a place that has clean water and 
cleanish air, depending on the day, right? But I'm grateful for those things. And they are facts. They're not positives. They're not, you know, just toxic positivity. It's not positive. They are facts. And that's what gratitude does for us. It, it grounds us. It brings us back to the reality. We will always naturally look for the negative it's the way that our brains are set up and we don't have any control over that part but what we do have control over is do we consciously counter those thoughts with facts and gratitude do we consciously get some type of balance going on by not just giving into the initial reaction that is meant to be negative but do we counter that knowing this information now that we need to counter it. Otherwise, we will be living in that darkness, in that black and white, in that right or wrong. Let's live in the color and let's figure out what that is. And gratitude, pure gratitude, not positivity, but gratitude is the way to get to that. What are some facts that you could be grateful for? And listen, what are some opinions that you could be grateful for too? You know, like, man, I am grateful for that beautiful white blooming tree across my street. That's, that's an opinion. I'm grateful for that because it makes me happy and beautiful. It's just beautiful to look at. And so I love that time where I get to see that tree blooming outside of my window. And that's an opinion. It's beautiful to me. But man, I'm so grateful for it. Again, not super, you know, positive, toxic positive. It, it is a, it's a fact to me. It's my opinion that it's beautiful. And so I will choose to, you know, focus on that and less on the other things that make me you know, whatever, feel the, the negative stuff. But but again, not in that because I'm avoiding the negative, it's in order to balance out the negative so that I can see the whole thing. There is no fear of me ever missing the problem, the fear, the danger. That will always be obvious to me. And so I'm not avoiding it. I'm not running away from it. I'm acknowledging it and then looking for extra evidence to tell me what reality is because it's rarely a hundred percent pure whatever that fear is that hits first so that's all we're talking about here is becoming more logical not super positive becoming more logical and and really finding the reality of the situation that is neither black or white so um, let me know what you think about this. Let me know of what um, what might get in the way of being able to see that distinction between toxic positivity and gratitude, that distinction between, you know, planning for the future through a negative lens versus planning for the future with a more balanced lens. Let me know what is getting in the way of that for you. Um, have a wonderful week and I will see you next Tuesday.